and yeah now all that's left is the outfit <laughs> and then we're gonna go and have a good time <laughs> hey beauties thank you so much for tuning in once again my name is dear gracious Dube, and welcome back to my channel so today i have a get ready with me i am going out tonight with my girls so i thought i would show you guys the process the hair the makeup the outfit everything so before I get started, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to share it as well. Okay then, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually fix this wig right here. I am wearing a wig and I am going to be using this Revlon Flex Gel. So I discovered this quite recently at Clicks, and I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna use an old toothbrush as well. So, I actually like to do it this way. I'm just gonna brush out the little baby hairs on this wig. So, I'm just combining, you know, my own hair, my own little baby hair, and the small little baby hairs of this wig. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of gel. Mm -hmm actually not that little a lot of gel <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that all over now if you like to gel down your baby hairs then you know that you need to do this before you put on any foundation because gel and foundation like it's just a hot hot mess so I always prefer to gel down my baby hairs first And I'm gonna clip this back in place so you just leave it like that you don't even have to like put down um, a scarf or anything like it dries down on its own and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to this side Okay, so today I'm going to use the Zulu palette. This is my absolute favorite, favorite palette. It is so gorgeous. And this is from Juvia's Place. Now, I bought this um, on this website, www.samika.com, I think. But I am going to link it down below. So I am going to be using all of these colors. At the top, I'm going to start with the yellow, followed by the orange and the brown in the crease. So I'm just starting with the yellow and I am putting that slightly above my crease. And I'm using this brush. This is a 224 from MAC and it's very nice for blending. It's nice and big and fluffy. Okay, now going in with the orange and I am putting it at the exact spot where I put the yellow. Okay, now I am going in with the brown and then I am going to concentrate a little bit more on the outer corner and in the crease. And I absolutely love this brown eyeshadow. It's so stunning. These eyeshadows, guys, yo, these are like the best eyeshadows I've ever used, honestly. They're so pigmented and so creamy. They're like a dream to use. They blend so, so effortlessly. So on my eye, I'm actually going to use this NYX pigment. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Pigment and the color number 7 and it looks like that. And then I recommend using a flat brush. So I'm going to use this one right here. And because I'm working with a loose pigment, I just want to spray my brush first. So I'm going to use my NYX, um, I'm going to use my MAC Fix Plus 
and I'm just gonna spray that a little bit so first thing I'm gonna do is just place that on there So I put a little bit more product. There we go. Ugh, I love <laughs> this pigment. So I'm taking a smaller brush. This is the MAC 217. And I am going to go back in with that brown. And I'm just going to slightly blend it in with this yellow. And I'm just softening it a little bit there by the crease. And then, because I want to add some sparkle, I'm going to use this NYX uh, Liquid Crystal Liner. I'm just going to place this like in no particular order. Just where I have this yellow, I'm going to place that. And then I'm going to take that same brush that I used. And I am just going to press this gold glitter in. And then just be careful when you work with this while it's still wet. It's like don't, you know, go back and forth because it's just going to come off. Actually, so the best thing literally is just to press it in. So now I'm just going to take my favorite gel liner. This is LA Girl gel liner. It's the one that I use almost all the time. And then I'm just using an angle brush. This is the color. And I'm just going to use an angle brush. This is the 263 brush. Uh, it is a MAC one. Now I'm just gonna prime my face and I'm gonna use my max my so I'm just gonna prime my face and I'm gonna use my Mac fix uh whew, and I'm gonna use my Mac Fix Plus spray. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so tongue-tied today. I can't seem to speak properly. Anyway, so I'm gonna use this Maybelline 24 hour Superstay foundation. It is my absolute favorite foundation at the moment. If you want to see a review of this, you can watch my previous video and you'll see just how much I love it or rather why I love it so much. And I'm just going to use a beauty blender today. This one is the Real Techniques one. You know what, I'm actually going to use a brush first. And I'm just going to use my Laura Mercier powder to set my under eye concealer. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use this Cryolan palette over here. I absolutely love this palette. It's got like, how many is this? Five different uh, blushes and this is the one which I use the most. And it's the one which I'm going to use again today. 
So I'm just using a regular blush brush and I'm just gonna sweep that on my cheekbones. I'm gonna use the MAC um, Gold Deposits and the MAC Global Glow Highlighter. So I'm starting with the Gold Deposit first. And of course, always on the brow bone. Okay, and now I'm just gonna put Global Glow on top of that. So I applied some lashes off camera and these lashes are from Pretty Lee Lashes on Instagram and I'm wearing Jacaranda. So I am going to link them down below in the description bar if you guys are interested in getting in touch with them and purchasing a pair. And now I'm just going to do my eyeliner and today I'm using the Studio Chromographic Pencil in the color NC15. This is a MAC pencil and I'm just going to line my waterline and then for lipstick today I'm actually going to use these two over here this is from MAC and it is topped with brandy and this is in the color back in Vogue and I'm gonna start with topped with brandy first and I am just gonna line my lips and then I'm going to apply back in Vogue in the center So I'm just going to use a lip brush just to help me blend that. My face is all done and now I'm just gonna finish off with the MAC Fix Plus Spray and now I'm just going to move on to my hair okay so I'm just gonna brush this first and I'm gonna be using this straightener over here this is the Tony and Guy straightener and I got this at Clicks. So nothing fancy, I'm just gonna go over this with the straightener. So I'm just gonna use this comb to help me along. I don't really have a method to this, I am just ironing the hair straight. Okay, so I'm all done and my wig is laid, like my hair is straight, got my lashes on, now I just need my outfit and I am good to go. I just straightened my hair, like I'm not very good when it comes to um, this kind of textured hair, well when it comes to wigs actually, so I just straighten it, that's what I know how to do, so I'll just stick with that and yeah, now all that's left is the outfit.